Hello, this is Lindsay Carrasquillo, and I'm here with Level to the Room at Savannah Stopover with Wild Child. How are you guys doing? What's doing up? Great. Doing great. How are you? What's up? Pretty good. Um, so you released the single Think It Over in November. Could you talk a little bit about it? Yeah, it's a song. Mm. It's four minutes and change. And <laughs> we That song uh, was initially kind of a big horn pop jam, and uh, we went to record a few songs at the end of a European tour in Norway with Chris Walla formerly of Death Cab for Cutie. R.I.P. And, uh, and, uh, too soon. Well, yeah, I guess, to clarify, they're still a band. Chris is not with them anymore. Yeah. Um, but, uh, he kind of had this plan for this big pop song to just kind of be slowed down and kind of 80s out, and we pulled all these Paula Abdul, Taylor Dane, uh, Phil Collins references for all of our sounds and just kind of changed the song entirely. Uh, and we were also in Norway, and it was cold and dark. And, and now it's badass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> to wrap up, the song's badass. So what should people expect from your set tonight? We don't know. We never know what's going to happen. Every set's totally different. It's always fun. It's always a dance party. It kind of feels like a sleepover dance party, like movie night. But Just we're not watching. Yeah, but we're not watching a movie. Actually, you have to watch us, and you don't have another option. You could look on your phone. You could watch your phone too, but it's fun. If it's like we don't, I don't know. We don't take anything that seriously. And at the end of the day, <laughs> what we get to do is make people smile and dance and have a good time. And we get to play music with our friends, so that's kind of what we're focused on. Uh, so you, we really don't. As far as we're concerned, we've never had a bad show. But that's because we have so much fun. I guarantee you we've played bad shows. Well, speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always on top. So with how extensively you tour, can you talk a little bit about what you've learned and maybe the most important thing you've learned by being on the road for so long? Sure. Um, drink water, but not too much in the van or else yeah. you have to pee. So save like the massive water consumption for when you get there and then drink a lot of water. Try and go to a bed at a reasonable hour. These are all things I don't do. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, when do we do any of those things? Um, uh, we mm, have a nice book. You I don't read you don't very read much. But all of this advice is not real advice. Here's what I'm going to give advice from your perspective. Uh, okay. Buy wine at a gas station before you get to the venue because it's going to take a while for them to fill your rider and you want that Kali Mocho right away. Yeah. That's Coca-Cola and wine and ice in a cup that he's going to drink. She uh, time yeah. <laughs> uh, bring more socks than you think you're going to need because mm -hmm. your feet are going to stink in the van. Again, this is not from my perspective. It's from mine. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, before you go to Europe, buy like a lot of smokes because they're expensive over there. Yeah, big time. And just turn off your phone in Canada because it's not worth the bills that you're going to get because you're going to turn it on and start texting or calling or people are going to, you're just going to, it's just going to rack up. And it's not worth it. Great advice. Thanks. Yeah. I've been touring with you a long time. Yeah. yeah. When you know, you know. Keep holding your sippy cup. R.I.P. R.I.P. <laughs> I lost a sippy cup today and I'm a little frazzled about it. Just bought it. So... Just keep a. Keep a <laughs> Did your voice <laughs> just crack? <laughs> I'm upset about it. It was really nice. We'll have to move on, or he'll he's gonna get um, upset. <laughs> Is there a certain city on the European tour that you're looking forward to the most? Uh, anywhere not in Germany. I've got a great <laughs> London accent, so that'll be fun. Um, my <laughs> German accent's not so great. Germany's tough because they don't they're not as expressive as. Uh, it's, just, it's hard to m it's hard to make them as silly as we are. It's hard for yeah, us too. Yeah, they Maybe they just don't like us. Like you can like look at like a whole crowd, like and they look like this, and afterwards they're like, "That was beautiful, so beautiful." I'm like really? Because <laughs> I think Cause you I hated think it. That you hated it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Paris, Paris. I'm gonna say Paris. Paris and London. There you go. Paris and London. <laughs> So going back to the record, was there a certain goal that you had in mind during the process? Make it good. 
yeah. We didn't we didn't really have any um like deadline to get this record done. So it was kind of whenever we felt like it was like ready to go. I feel like in the past we've um you know, you, you make a record, you're like, Well, we have to have this done by this time frame and and people want it now and like our label needs it here and it's like kind of structured but with this one we sorry, <laughs> sorry. Uh, we just you know we knew that we wanted to make a good record and we were going to take as long as it needed to take so we just kept recording i think we did like 20 songs for this record yeah and we we'd made three records before so we kind of knew the recording vibe we liked and the vibe we didn't and kind of producers we wanted to work with and just didn't want to be rushed uh, we wanted it to sound like Rush, though. We wanted, to <laughs> yeah. We put zero expectations for expectations. No. Yeah, I know. We just wanted to make a record that we would listen to. That was kind of our. It sounds a lot like Rush. Yeah. We didn't do Ukulele that. Ukulele Rush. <laughs> Not really. You c- can't rush me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we should have called it. Yeah. Expectate Rush. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, do you need this for that one? <laughs> no, it's that's better that's than probably better. Okay, yeah, that's good. Just insert some kind of cool sound clip there. Yeah. Like thunder or lightning. As the website focuses on our local music scene, can you talk a little bit about yours and maybe some bands that you would recommend? Mm, gladly. Our cello player, Sadie, has a band called Batty Jr., which is amazing, really fun. Um, there's this like local guy, Gary Clark Jr. I would check him out. The tuba guy? Yeah, the tuba guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Austin music scene. I We also love the Savannah music scene. We recorded our third record here um, because we toured through Savannah and had so much fun. At the stopover two years ago, we were like, we're, we're doing our record here. That was like four years ago. Oh, <laughs> four years ago. Jesus. Whoa. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, the Austin music scene is really similar. Everyone's friends everyone's in multiple bands there's a lot of good venues uh i dig it it doesn't seem like a lot of music towns like nashville or la brooklyn it's pretty competitive people are i don't know it's just a weird race to the top but austin is just everyone's just supportive and wants to play together and tour together you're like happy when when one of your peers does well or like gets a cool look on something yeah because like then they'll let you open for them yeah. later <laughs> yeah, yeah it's just uh <laughs> it's just the way it is but it's great i mean austin really is it's like a, a family vibe and everyone's rooting for each other and i feel like that's not every market and they're also really really good and so they make you work your ass off yeah because you want to be as good as the people playing around you yeah someone puts out like a great record and you're like well i want to put out a great record <laughs> so i will so there you go so can you go ahead and tell everyone where to find your music online? Where to find your music online. <laughs> <laughs> we are Wild Child, and you can find our music at wildchildsounds.com. And we're on Spotify and Apple Music and everything. that You can probably download it illegally, honestly. I don't know if people are still doing that. Spotify is free. Why would you do that? Well, it's not free if you don't want the ads. So. <laughs> You're right. Pay $9 for everyone's music. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's it, yeah. You heard it first here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I think she gets to do the All tag. right, then you d- <laughs> then you do it. All right, so this has been our interview with Wild Child at Savannah Stopover. We'll see you next time.